All right, so first up, we have a... Uh, well, we have one of the, uh, the most exciting matches of group stages, I think. We have Kirby versus Jaime, Titans of the West Coast. Yeah, for sure. These guys have faced each other plenty of times, and on the online uh, tournaments in West, like it really does just come down to like Kirby getting second and Jaime getting first. Sometimes I think uh, Paramo sneaks in there, like because uh, Kirby has this weird deficiency against Mario, even though it's such a <laughs> it's such a good matchup for Falcon. Well, we'll have to see. Jaime notably does have a Mario. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, you know I gotta respect Jaime. Just like he recognizes that, you know. Um, he has a maybe just not as proficient in the Falcon Ditto recently, so the only way to get better is to, you know, throw yourself into the fray, I guess. Yeah. You think Jaime is giving himself a big challenge here? He's uh, not a fan of the Falcon Ditto. I would say so right now, like just based on um, what's happened in the recent ladder, because that's the only like results we have to go off. But nice start art for the combo. Like, it, it's it's not anything that I would say like this is like a huge challenge or anything but it's just like a a little discrepancy towards it more than usual but uh oh what barely Ooh. makes it back above him that edge play in this matchup is, is so challenging it's going to this very safe uh bear not really trying for a big combo yeah, i like going for gimps in this matchup as uh as much as some falcon players might prefer it wasn't there and back air, double back air, smash, but, but no miss input. Oh, he the missed miss the dare! Oh my god. Just the miss input there, but should be a Kirby. clean up stock there, yeah. Kirby turns it around, and Jaime may get back. Is it double Falcon Punch. <laughs> no, spaces around the fadeaway. His invincibility, though, is so powerful for, for Falcon. Yeah, and then imagine like two Falcons on the same, you know, Dreamland fighting each other. With their invincibility, <laughs> but nice little coverage with the Falcon Punch. This stuff is that you know, Kirby Labs, like he knows that Falcon Punch covers all tech options like that. Good stuff. Yeah, after a Falcon Punch in tournament. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't no, think I've no. Never seen that. I, that's quite optimal. I, he labs stuff like that all the time. Yeah, I've seen him throughout the clips, but uh didn't realize he was going for that. I mean, why not? Just, ooh, barely ooh. gets around the up smash. And it, kill, high man at the stock. It, but it could just go. It can just go anyway, because we know this is Falcon Ditto's. You know, one grab and leaves in the stock. Like even right here. What was that? <laughs> what was that, Krovi? Very. Um, but he doesn't get punched for it. Ooh, nice. It goes for another Falcon punch. That one looked like a, it was maybe more of an anti-Yoshi combo. Oh, I mean, kind of drops the combo too, but something. Oh. Um, it up with the edge guard. Clean up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really uh, simple there. Yeah, blink and you miss it when it comes to Falcon Dills. Like uh Jaime had a had a decent lead for a minute and uh Kirby was able to find his footing somewhere and you know make that a little closer, but good stuff to Jaime. Kirby I know has been labbing the Pikachu, but it seems unlikely that he would bring that Pikachu in. Yeah, that's that's respectable. They have to go up to your guns, like Falcon oh, is clearly his textures. Yeah, very strange. Um, is it fair? Pretty odd start to this game, honestly. But great DI from Hyman. Worked Definitely. out for him. Yeah, that that neutral exchange was really strange. Like Kirby just like w ran back and forth from Dreamland. Did you see that? And he didn't get punished for it. It's very yeah. odd. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to go for a second in this matchup. Like <laughs> nothing's gonna be completely safe. Ooh, nice fastball there. And just back air and up air, just finding these uh, these edge guards. I like Jaime's style. Uh, oh, but very quick. Need for really long combo. Yeah, he he's very good at like kind of just getting rid of your stock as soon as possible. He doesn't really, you know, take. <laughs> oh, nice. Good call out there. But yeah, let's see if uh, Jaime can do exactly as I wanted to say with just quickly clean up the stock and as little hits as possible. But Krovi gets a grab. Oh, he, he did the dog shield jump. jump. I, I, oh, very nice. Oh, you see him dash taunt cancel on the edge of that platform? 
Oh yeah, he loves, loves doing those. Data. Yeah, he loves doing that for sure. Oh! Jumped to double dare! I didn't realize you could do that. Just goes for a second dare. Uh, even though Falcons are really low for some. Oh, so nice! Just going back and forth with the invincibility. Yeah, can hide I really... Out. I really liked that hook from Kroby, like that reaction hook. It caught Jaime off guard and he was able to get a follow up on it, but not exactly leading to death, but this might. Um, maybe too high? No! Nice. Oh. Kroby takes game two. A quick one to one. I think he kind of loves running off stage, I've noticed. He's I, I, lost stage. I feel like the determining factor of why Kroby took that game is maybe like what you touched upon that sometimes you just gotta try weird stuff and i think that weird stuff was just working out for Kroby that time yeah plus he had a great conversion on the ability oh yeah for sure his conversions were a lot stronger too the uh the invincibility neither of these guys just go into the ledge which uh has always been my favorite strategy but yeah I, I, a lot I, more running yeah i agree with you they're like kind of running at each other which i respect but it is very strange because ledge is just so safe but <laughs> That's how Falcon works. I, I very comical how it started off with just them trying to grab each other, but Broby, maybe no. Wow, Drops great DI from Jaime. <laughs> I like that little <laughs> kick, you know. It, it, he's just kind of like, hey, what are you doing there? Okay, Kirby going to the ledge this time. And does the downer, but the downer just doesn't really work against Falcon at that little percent. The reverse bear. Uh, straight into the dare. Nothing too fancy out of uh, Falcon. Yeah, that's typically what you're going to see from him, too, and, you know, can't knock it because it's results, I mean, right here. Oh, but the Kirby... Whoa. And, uh, another determining factor for why I think that, like, you know, it's good to just keep it simple is because Kirby's DI is really, really good. Like, Yeah, I wanted to touch on that. Like, Kirby's DI is, is, of course, insane, but it almost doesn't seem like it's mattering too much here just because... I mean, it's so resourceful with like just getting him off stage and immediately killing him. Yeah, and I think I think Jaime's good at falling DI as well. So it it sometimes turns into a, a matter of I think Kroby's DI is really good, but I wouldn't say it's the smartest. Not to say that Kroby isn't a smart player, but sometimes I think he's just kind of like I need to get away as far as possible, more than like how can I get away in a in a way that like won't cause a follow up. Now, how's that for a resourceful combo? The Falcon Kick mid combo. You don't see that too often. Yeah. Falcon Kick into up. <laughs> up oh, but this is. Ooh, this is big. Straight up DI. That Krovi DI. Didn't quite kill. Oh, and he drops it because of the. Uh, the DI straight up. Why is. Jaime, why are you always running off stage? What are you doing? Ow. Stop running That's... off stage. Oh my god. No way. And just to run away like that. Oh, but the hook. Yeah, oh, the grab. Doesn't get punished. Time has two sets to run, or two games to run. These these are some very uh, primal Falcon dados. Like we got like. Oh yeah. Caveman ascended right now. Each game is like a minute and a half. Like this is not. <laughs> They're out for blood. It's just I, I I'm really enjoying watching it actually. Yeah. All right. It's going to be, uh, what, game number four? Jaime up 2-1. Yeah, sometimes you see Falcon Dittos, especially, like, you know, late in, late in a bracket, just both guys actually playing very cautiously. You can actually see games that last a couple minutes, but that's <laughs> not what's happening here. It's Kirby takes not, the first yeah. one before even 10 seconds have passed. Okay, Kirby going to the ledge now. I, I like this. Oh, nice grab. Oh, the Dogs Johnson. <laughs> it's the Dogs Johnson? Straight into another <laughs> zero death. I, I two stocks. I've seen him do that so many times, so my brain just kind of. Oh, what is this? Nice. Just falls him off stage with a hard read dare. Jaime, you're crazy. Jaime's oh. off stage game in this matchup is unparalleled. That di was incredible on that up smash. Like what the what the hell was that? It didn't Tech lead with it, fair yeah. to beat the shield too. It was incredible. We haven't even seen a minute go by. The signature oh, nice. Crowe air tech chase doesn't quite work. Nice DI behind, but uh, Jaime has plenty of time to fall, but this might not quite kill. Okay, Crowe saving his jump. Uh, oh, I hate to see that. Thing. Yeah, Last stock for Crowe. Can we see a game five? I'd, I'd love to see a game five. On his tournament stock. 
doesn't quite space out of the range of the fair. Oh, but this is... Oh, this is big. This oh, this is so attack. big. This... Yeah. Easy man? Easy man. Yeah. Easy man, and Jaime seals it. Some incredibly creative combos there. Yeah, uh... That was super, beautiful display. That yeah. Super entertaining to watch. Uh, I think just what really made Jaime the winner of that whole set is just that he was able to convert harder than Kroby. Kroby had some fantastic punishes, but like where it mattered, I feel like Jaime was able to, you know, capitalize and get rid of Kroby before. Honestly, he could get heated up because you could you'd see like him just, you know, do his typical Kroby stuff and Jaime just, you know, was able to keep him from getting too white hot, you know? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think we really saw Jaime's uh, experience and creativity shine through there. Yeah, yeah. Every single game, I think he did a combo I've never seen before. Yeah, I, I don't think it was like the most uh, the most flashy, but it was definitely the most you know had a lot of ingenuity to it. Yeah, exactly. And resourceful, not just uh, not going for like reverse bears, but going for for creative options to. Uh, yeah, and Proby probably not too happy about that, but I know I'll come back from that, and I'm excited to, you know, uh, I think, you know, and I, I, I don't care. I, I think we'll see him at the, uh, the November split. I think he'll make it for sure. Yeah.